Welcome back, Stasa23 here, back again with some knife therapy. And uh, today's video, I'm gonna be talking about some new knives that I have for the channel. Um, one of them I got in on trade, and uh, another one was 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 donated to the channel by an awesome viewer, and the rest were sent in for review. Let's get started. The first one I got in on trade from my buddy Zach from Zach Stuff here on uh, YouTube. I'll leave it. I'll try to leave a link down in the description to his channel. Awesome guy, awesome channel, and uh, he traded me this uh, Saint Nick's knives. Power 3 and CPM 4V. Super excited to have this guy. Still has a stock clip. That'll be changing here soon. It's going to be a user for me, and I'm excited to uh, put some use on this. Still needs to be broken in. I'll probably take this one down and smooth it on out because uh, it's not a free dropper yet, but I think I can fix that. Um, I probably won't do a video on this one, maybe unless I do a video on how the 4V holds up after some long-term use. But uh, that's the first one, super excited about this one. I traded him for another power of three that I had. I, I think it was a sprint run, but there you go. Now the next knife was donated to the channel by an awesome viewer named Scott Yamada. He's from, from Hawaii and he said that um, this he didn't want to do anything with this knife because it had tons of hot spots and he knew that I like doing mods and stuff like that. So he said, do what I want with it, mod it or uh, sell it, whatever I'd like to do. Pretty awesome. And that is the Ontario uh, Carter Squared. I always liked the look of this knife. Super cool looking. It's definitely a beefy blade. Nice, heavy, heavy. Look at that stock on there. Even though it's got that, that ginormous stock, it's got a nice thin hollow grind on it. So this thing's gonna be a nice little slicer. Um, and it does have some hot spots, he was right. Uh, especially right here because of how thin it gets right there. And uh, when you flip flipping it, these corners, just like on the, uh, the Carter Prime, has that same issue for me at least with the hot spot right there. All these points are pretty, pretty bad hot spots for my hands. And um, we'll see, um, maybe I'll do some mod work to this guy or maybe give it away in a giveaway. We'll see what, what goes on. But thank you, Scott, I really appreciate it. Not only did he send this, I thought this was another super cool thing. Me and my wife both got a, got a nice uh, smile out of this. He sent me some Hawaiian candy. He sent another one, but yeah, my wife already ate it. And very cool, sent me some uh, Hawaiian um, uh, uh, pancake mix. Look how cool, this one's banana macadamia nut and strawberry guava. Super cool, never, this is the first time I've, I've, I've received some sort of gift uh, from, from a viewer. Um, I, you know, I've had knives sent to me from viewers to check out and review. This is the first time something's been donated to the channel. I'm not saying I want anybody to donate anything to the channel, but that was very cool, very thoughtful. Thanks, Scott, I really appreciate it. Uh, all right, the next, the next three knives were sent in uh, from the company to review. And the first one, I've been eyeing this one ever since he, he, he showed a, a picture of it. And it's, it's from a guy on Instagram, his name's Tepe Designs. He has one knife right now that was a Kickstarter campaign knife called the Hornet. I reviewed that, check it out um, earlier somewhere farther back on my channel if you want to check that one out. This one's called the, the Dynamo and super cool. He collaborated with Tucson Knives. They they made it for him. This is Tepe's design. Uh, Sean, he's he's the, uh, the the person behind Tepe Designs. And I, I love this knife. It's, it's not a big knife by any means. Uh, it's got this nice classic blade shape, different style flipper tab, nice milling, nice carbon fiber. Uh, the milling is is uh, mirrored on this side as well. I like the pocket clip, nice retention. That's his maker's mark right there, super cool. And this thing's rocking S90V. Um, came really sharp, uh, good little slicer, almost a full flat grind. Nice and comfortable in hand. You get about a three and a half finger grip, depending on how I grip it. I can get that third finger on there and nice solid grip right there. Um, very cool, very snappy action. That little, the way that flipper tab set, set up, it works fine. 
and uh, it's not it doesn't have any sharp pokey point points sticking out on it. So very cool. Oops, very very cool knife. That's the Dynamo. There you go. Next two were sent to me by Riot. Um, very excited because uh, everybody that has ever handled Riot knows that they're they're pretty much the top echelon in the the machining game for knives. Uh, super high quality knives and they sent two uh, two over to me to check out <coughs> to review and the first one is uh, Tashi Baruka collaboration and it is the T2500 with the carbon fiber inlay bowler M390 and it's a smaller guy one that's in my wheelhouse I really really like this this uh, design I like a lot of Tashi's designs, but usually they're too big for my liking. But you got that classic Tashi blade shape. You got the, the inlay carbon fiber that's completely seamless. You got the blue anodized titanium hardware. And it almost, it pretty much looks like an integral. Unless you get up close, you can see that seam line. Uh, they didn't break up the design by putting a, a lanyard hole in there. You, they, they just put it on the back. I love when they do that. Good retention on the pocket clip, titanium mill pocket clip. The uh, blue anodizations carried over. There's Tashi's maker mark right there. There's the blade steel designation M390. And this guy has really nice snappy action to it. Listen to this. Nice snappy action. And it's it's a small knife. You only get a three finger grip, but the way that the, the handle kicks up and cocks up like that, and you got this deep chaw right here, your hand is very locked in. Uh, I wouldn't be scared of this this guy, you know, getting out of my hands. I mean, this is not no heavy user or anything, but uh, definitely, definitely like it. I like the way the flipper tab's set up. Don't need any jimping because, you know, no thought needed. Do want to make sure you're not putting a lot of pressure on that lock bar, but even, you know, if I put a little bit, it still comes out with authority. Nice action on here. Uh, all the knives were completely centered, everyone that I've shown so far, but that is the T2500. And the last knife <coughs> that was sent in uh, by Riot is one of their um, designs in their K series, and that is the K3. This is out of the, all the K series knives. I think there was like four or maybe five. This is the one that appealed to me the most. Check that bad boy out. <clears throat> Got that nice, beautiful harpoon right there. Sexy satin grind. You got a vertical and horizontal satin. You have this fuller with the holes in it right there with that nice little textured finish in the inside of there. Just a, a, a really nice, in my opinion, hard use knife. <clears throat> it's got inlays in here and they're basically uh, like, like window frame in there to where you got a little lip on the titanium, nothing that's uncomfortable. You got this titanium back spacer that <clears throat> you can put a lane here wherever you wanted. You got here, here, and here. You got this geared pattern that gives you a little bit extra traction. Very comfortable in hand. <clears throat> Hadn't got to use this guy yet. You have a sharpening tool. Very, very smooth. Look at that. Nice and centered. Look, listen to this action. This has got ray coil to it. Super snappy action. I mean, every Riot I've ever handled had has had great, great action on it. They know how to do their detents. Um, like I said, very comfortable in hand. <clears throat> uh, very easy to disengage that lock bar drops shut on its own very very nice uh so there's all the knives that that i got for a review uh like i said comment down below which ones you want to see first i also have two pieces of edc gear that was that was sent to me for review and they are from a company that i just just found out about recently and i'm glad i have because they, they got a lot of stuff coming up in the, the near future and i'm very excited to see where they take it and I, I, they have a knife coming out soon too, so that's why I wanted to check out <coughs> their EDC gear so I could see the quality and craftsmanship on it, and that is uh, Damn Designs, I'll Be Damn. This is one of the stickers that came with it. And they come in these cool little zipper pouches. I love the little logo, got the black eye logo, and there's their, their website right there. They're on Instagram as well. Go check them out, give them a follow if you like what you see. They sent. They asked what what I would I want to check out, and these are the two I wanted to check out. They have various other uh, things like spinners and um, worry stones, I think, and um, 
titanium, just cool, cool, cool titanium machine goodies. <clears throat> so the first one is the tag. This one, um, I was, this was something I was most interested in because I love, I love, uh, titanium, uh, tools, as you'd say. It came with these little stickers right here. I love me some swag stickers because I have a, a poster board with all kinds of company swag on it. Very, very cool right there. I love the little pouch. You could use this for Tinder or whatever you want to use it for. Make your little EDC pouch right here to put in your car. And this guy right here, I'll do a full video on it, but <clears throat> this is the tag. You got these hex uh, sizes right here. You could put a... Um, a driver in one of these and use it as a as a uh, screwdriver or you know whatever you want you got a bottle opener here and you have a little pry tool right here this that the pry tool is the most useful thing for me at least i use those things all the time to save my blades so i don't crack my blades you have a, a ruler up here <clears throat> uh you have in inches and in millimeters there you go this is the Let's see, I think this is the inches right here, maybe. And this is the centimeters. I don't know. But <clears throat> we'll get into that more in the full review of this guy. Very, very lightweight uh, chunk of titanium. I plan on anodizing this just so you can see some of the things you can do with this. Um, this is probably, this is something that will will uh, stay in my truck, you know, just in case I ever need something like this, especially the pry head on it. And always good to have a bottle opener. So there's the first one, the tag. And the next one is called the gram. <clears throat> Let's open this guy up. Same thing, got the stickers in here. I'm guessing they come. This is a chunk of titanium right here. Nice finishing on it. You got the logo on both of these guys. Very cool logo, love it. And uh, you have a thing for a key ring or I think I'm gonna I'm gonna put a ball chain through this and I'm gonna wear it as a necklace and see how comfortable that is. Nice and thick. Um, you can use it as a you know little little uh, anxiety tamer right here. If you, if you if you got tons of anxiety there and state the obvious, you can you know you can fill in the blank there. You know what you can do with this. Um, but the craftsmanship is, is definitely amazing. That's why I want to check this out. So whenever they do uh, release their knife, you know, I have an idea of what their, their quality control is like. Uh, this is another piece. I'll probably try anodizing this. Maybe I'll flame one of them and electro another one just so you can get an idea of what you could do with these. And uh, like I said, let me know down below what you want to see first. I'll bring out the knives again. <clears throat> And I just, I just want to know what, you know, what y'all like to see. Real quick, I don't think I did any size comparisons. There's the, the 2500, the T2500. And this is a Pilar, CRKT regular Pilar. So as you can see, the Pilar is a little bit bigger. So if you know, if you have the Pilar, you have an idea of how big that guy is. Um, and the... The K3, this is a little bit bigger of a knife. And here's the bare knuckle, Kershaw bare knuckle. And the bare knuckle is not a small knife and you can see the uh, K3 is bigger than the bare knuckle. Let's see, and the last one, the Dynamo by Tepe Designs. Uh, somebody's about to knock on the door. My dog's about to freak out, so we'll, we'll wrap it up right there. Hope everybody's having an absolutely wonderful day, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.